Welcome to the Healthcare Provider Happy Hour. This is a safe space where we invite healthcare providers to unapologetically be themselves after the working day. My name is Jennifer George, and each week I will connect you with guests and stories that will help transform your stress to success and fulfillment. Are you with me? Grab your drink of choice and let's chat. Hey everyone, welcome to the Healthcare Provider Happy Hour. I'm your host, Jennifer George, and I'm joining you this evening with a glass of water. I want to reframe your mindset for a moment, if I may. I want to chat with you today a little bit about the persistence of stress that may be in your life right now, the persistence of negative experiences that are happening, and you're wondering, like, what's going on? Like, why does one thing after another seem to just be going wrong right now? Why can't anything go right? If you're feeling in that kind of state right now where you're just throwing up your hands and just, like, just overwhelmed and just anxious and just worried or fearful, I want you to think about this for a moment. I want you to disrupt this thinking for a moment. As healthcare providers, all we desire is to thrive in our practice. We want to be able to work from our purpose, from our deeper meaning, and show up in our best selves every single day for our patients. But when all we're focused on is burnout and stress and all of the things that are not going well with our work. Naturally, that's going to multiply and amplify and exponentiate, right? And so I want you to reframe your thinking a little bit around your burnout. Yes, burnout is largely dependent on systematic issues that definitely could be better and could be fixed and things like that, but reality like you don't have control over that right now so we can't really change that right now there are things that perhaps you can do in your clinical space to move the needle forward absolutely I'm a big advocate of that like start with where you're at I know for example on our unit we started a frontline social for staff that work the front line just to come together share their challenges share their successes, share whatever it was that came to mind once a month. And it was more of just a social for staff to connect, share knowledge, empower each other, um, and just build connection. So that was one of the things that we did. Did that change the overall system of healthcare and how that affects uh, the greater community of healthcare provider burnout? Probably not much, uh, but I could see a vision for this happening on every unit and every clinical space and and perhaps it would then right so that was something that i could uh could control at the time within my clinical space the thing is is when we get lost in what everybody else what we expect everybody else to do or think those things that we have no control over which are other people or our system as a whole right the politics, things like that. We don't have control over that. So why am I going to keep blaming that when I'm sitting here right now wanting to thrive? I'm not serving myself by doing that. All I'm doing is disempowering myself, right? So how can you take your control back? How can you do that? One of the ways you can do that is start finding gratitude for where you're at right now and for what you have. Ground yourself in that. List five to 10 gratitudes in the morning or in the evening and even better both if you have the time or can squeeze that in and start there, okay? Because there's a lot more that is going well and that is well with you right now that you are overlooking because you're too focused on things that you have no control over. Second, Write down what it is that you desire for your life, and not only for your life, for your health, okay? Now, this could be your financial health. This could be your physical health, your mental health, 
okay, your relationship health, it could be any of those things or more, and focus on one or two areas and write down something that it is that you desire for your health and be so specific about it as if you have already obtained it and feel the energy that flows through you of emotion when you do envision this. Okay, and focus on this. So these are things that you would do every day. I like to do these in the morning. This is something I do every morning, especially my gratitudes. And with my gratitudes, I do um, envision quite a bit and um, integrate my desires as well in there. I kind of make it like one big journal entry, so to speak. And it's powerful because it grounds me for the day because I know that when I go to work, there are going to be a lot of things that are out of my control and I have to be able to ground myself and not get lost in it. The other thing I want to point out just in general is that if you are focused so much on what's going wrong, what could be better, what should be better, what's not right, if we are so focused on that and we're constantly speaking about it and it's taking all of our focus and energy um, then naturally that's going to show more of itself. And then those things that you desire are going to be invisible. Like you're not going to see them at all. You're, or if you do, you don't have the energy for it. So the thing to think about is, and this will put things into perspective for you, if you are a healthcare provider who wants to thrive right now, what is it right now that you're thinking and feeling because if you want to thrive but all you're feeling is anxiety uncertainty fear resentment things like that then it's really difficult to thrive in that feeling in that level of energy and vibration that you're feeling right now okay so you have to find ways to elevate your energy to bring yourself to a state of joy to bring yourself to a state of empowerment of peace and calmness that's where you want to go to And one of the best ways i know to get there is through gratitude and through focusing on what it is that you want okay so it's not about being optimistic to the point where you're fooling yourself or anything like that it's not toxic optimism that i've, I've been seeing floating around on on social media that's not what i'm referring to what i'm referring to is a deep belief okay of what it is that you want for your life and caring enough about yourself so much that you believe that you are you are worthy of it and then feel that okay because it is a divine right for healthcare providers i believe to find fulfillment to find joy in their work every day but we have to do away with all of the things that are going wrong okay because at the end of the day if you strip all of that away you are changing people's lives every day and that matters okay that's that's truly something to be celebrating that is the highest form serving others is the highest form i, I think of also elevating your energy and bringing you to a more positive state okay but if it's if it's done out of the fact that you feel like it's just your job you don't really want to do it but you're doing it anyway it's going to be really hard to thrive in that type of environment and that environment meaning your mindset your mind and you know that that universal feeling of just like you're going through the motions like you've lost yourself Okay, so I want that to end today. Okay, I want you to take your power back. I want you to find gratitude right now in the moment for what you have. And I want you to focus on deeply and specifically with what it is that you want and desire. Write them down every single day. Don't skip on this because by skipping on this, you're skipping on you. And this is just another investment in your overall self-care plan. If you want more guidance around this, uh, check out our coaching program. I've, I've collaborated with Nick Hanna, Emma Jack, Jim Millard of uh, buildyourwave.com. So we started this coaching framework to help support healthcare providers to share their stories, stand in their truths, and liberate themselves from burnout or stress 
by by sharing their stories and by building this community so check it out at buildyourwave.com you could also follow us at at build your wave and if you have any specific questions around this podcast or any comments or anything i really do appreciate your dms just stating how much you're enjoying the podcast i really do appreciate them and i do uh, read every single one of them What I would also really appreciate it if you have an extra 30 seconds as you're listening is just to leave an honest review at iTunes about how you're feeling about this podcast. And that's kind of my way of knowing, you know, where people are at, what you want to hear more of and how to move this podcast forward. So until we chat next time, remember to stay well and stay happy. So if you guys like this podcast, please subscribe and leave an honest review. Your feedback means everything to me. Your reviews are what moves this podcast forward, and I always appreciate receiving them. If you want to get a hold of me directly, reach out to me on social media. My handles are in the show notes, and you can always subscribe to my weekly newsletters at jennifergeorge.co so that we can stay connected. So until next time, thank you guys so much again for your ongoing support. Thank you.